Hey everybody, it's John here from VGameAct.com, and here we are today back in Red Bow, grabbing the Well I Tried achievement. This is going to be a quick rundown on how to get the neutral ending. So, Chapter 1 is going to be pretty involved since it requires you to get all of the items. So, from the start, head down the road, talk to Kubi. Once you are done, head on to the path. Try to get into the cabin, you will notice it's locked. Try to leave the screen, and then the door will unlock, allowing you to enter. Once you enter, you are going to have a little cutscene where you meet Akira, and then once that's over, you have free control of your character you are supposed to head back to kubi to get the objective of the chapter which is to find the missing two items so make sure you talk to him and then after that you have to find the items first off head back to the path and then go to the trash can at the picnic area next to the cabin grab the photo and that should spawn the ribbon which is going to appear at the bottom of the road so make sure you head over there and then grab the ribbon and then take this all the way back up to kubi Alright, for this particular playthrough, you want to make sure you put the ribbon as an offering. This is going to be one of the good actions, which is going to help keep things neutral because we will be doing bad actions later on to counteract this. Alright, chapter 2. First off, grab the firecrackers from the cash register thing right here. Head inside the shop. Once you get control of your character, make sure you push the step ladder and grab the lighter on top of the shelf. Once you have those two things, bring them both upstairs to scare the cat down. Once upstairs, head to the last room on the left. Once you are in here, go to the stove, make sure you interact with it using the firecrackers, and then light them using the lighter, and that should get the cat to come down. Head on outside, and you will notice the cat has dropped the key to the storage room, which is where we need to get going next to meet a character, as well as get another specific story-related item. So once you have those, back into the shop, up the stairs. This time you want to head into that other room that wasn't the bedroom. This is going to be the storage room. It's going to be locked, but that's where that key that we just got comes in handy. Go inside, meet the person. Once she leaves, make sure you look in the toilet for the crowbar. You are going to need this to open up the manhole to get access to the sewers. Sewers are going to be back outside, so head down the stairs, through the shop, back outside, upper right corner of the street is going to be the manhole cover. Interact with it using the crowbar, and then once you are inside, you are going to meet yet another character. So once you meet said character, you're going to speak for a while. He's basically going to ask you to help him out with a murder. What you want to do is you want to head upstairs. To get this particular ending, you want to beat this without murdering anyone. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to head back to the shop, back up the stairs. Instead of grabbing an instrument of killing, we are going to grab a photo off of the wall on the second floor. Then once we have that, we can head back to the storeroom to tell the lady to go meet the dude in the sewer. Once that's done, we are going to follow her. Once you enter the sewer, you should get a little cutscene, which has a lot of talking. Once you have control of your character again, open up your inventory, give the lady the photo, and that is going to be a peaceful solution to these two's quarrel. Then, chapter 3. You should be on the boat. First step is to grab the fishing rod from the upper left corner of the deck, and then bring this to the opposite upper right corner, and then use this to fish out a key from this barrel right here. So once you have that, it's time to hit up the captain's quarters. So make sure you head over to the middle, go on inside. The guy here should give you a key, which is going to open up the bottom deck. There's also an empty bottle in here that you need to grab. Make sure you grab that off of the table. Back outside, make sure you use the key that the dude just gave us to open up the ladder right here. Take the ladder downstairs, and you should be in the bottom of the ship. You are going to be forced into a conversation with this guy named Umbi. Make sure you get through it, and make sure you don't accidentally talk to him a second time. Instead, we are going to go straight to the back of the ship. So grab the crowbar off the table, and then use it on this crate to reveal a hole. Make sure you go to the back of the ship. Once you are back here, use the key that we fished out of the barrel in order to open up the gate. And then you will notice these barrels right here. Use the bottle on the barrels to grab the rum, and then quickly make your way back to the top side of the ship. Once again, be very careful not to talk to Umbi on accident. You do not want to talk to him a second time because that is going to mess up the sequence of events. So just straight upstairs and then straight back to the captain's quarters. Once we're up here, same thing with Umbi. You want to make sure you don't talk to this guy. Instead, go straight to him, open up your inventory, and give him the rum. If you did that correctly, that should kick you to the epilogue and then you can make your way to the lighthouse. Lots of talking in here. Once you get control of your character, just take the ladder straight up and lots more talking and and once that's over, you should be at the end game credits. And your achievement should pop if you did everything right. 90 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.